This is my language homework Q35 review. In the first box, um, we see the words for this week. Which word means a dentist specializing in correcting teeth? That's an orthodontist. Label the part of speech for each underlined word. The pillows on the bed were so comfortable. This should be were. The pillows on the bed were so comfortable. On is a preposition. And comfortable describes the pillows, which are nouns, so it's an adjective. Correct the sentence by adding commas. You will need bread, peanut butter, jelly, a knife, and a plate. Commas in a series. I put a comma after every item except for the last one. Simile or metaphor, what does it mean? You are a ray of sunshine. I do not see like or as. I am comparing you to a ray of sunshine. It means that you are wonderful or you are bright. I enjoy being around you. Oh, sorry, that one wasn't on there. Move all the way up. Tell if the underlying verb is perfect past, perfect present, or perfect future. By the time the day is over, she will have made 30 beaded necklaces. Will have is the helping verb that I use with present, future, excuse me, um, perfect future. And made is in past tense, so that is perfect future. Look for shifts in verb tense. Tell if the sentence is correct or incorrect. The soccer team was good and is still improving. There's nothing here that tells me there's a change in the time, a shift in time. The soccer team was is past tense, is is present, so this is incorrect. That is an inappropriate shift in verb tense. Write the meaning of the prefix temper or cron. If you think about chronological order or maybe temporary, you might know it has to do with time. All right, pause here for the review of Tuesday homework. Tuesday, which words have a root that means tooth or teeth? I'm going to look over at the list here. I have dental, orthodontist, dentist, and periodontal. Which word best completes the sentence? Chase went to the, to get his yearly teeth cleaning. The dentist conducts yearly teeth cleaning. Which word or phrase best completes the sentence? Our club is trying to raise money. The club president keeps spending money. Uh-oh. Um, I could possibly use also here, but I'm showing that we're trying to do one thing and something else is happening. So the best word here is meanwhile. Which word can mean turned or an injury? Rotate is turned, an injury is break, turned is wound, and an injury is a wound. What does the adage or proverb mean? No man is an island. It means no man stands by himself or everyone needs help. Everyone needs help from others. Complete the sentence with the correct perfect past tense verb. Well, I already know that the helping verb I use with perfect past is had, so I'll put had. 
and then change this verb to past tense. Let's try it. By the time our trip was over, we had traveled across the country. Excellent. Look for shifts in verb tense. Tell if the sentence is correct or incorrect. The singer is singing songs he performed last year. The singer is singing songs he performed last year. My verbs are in different tenses, but they give me a shift in time last year. So this is correct. Make a list of words with temper and crime. Temper, not temper like you're angry, but temporary. Or you could shorten it to tempo, the time that the music is kept. Uh, or we said chronological. Or chronic. You might have more words than this. Pause here if you have not done the Wednesday homework. Wednesday, which words have a root that means foot or feet? I'm looking over here in the box and I see pedestal, podiatrist, oh, impediment. Which word means the support at the foot of a vase or statue? The support at the foot of a vase or statue. That is a pedestal. Improve the sentence by expanding, combining, or reducing. The flowers were beautiful. They smelled amazing. I have two separate sentences, um, so I'd like to combine them. Two complete thoughts, I have to have a comma and a conjunction. The flowers were beautiful, comma, and they smelled amazing. Oh, um, I could lowercase and say they with a lowercase because it's in the middle of the sentence now. Or I could take out the comma and just leave the flowers were beautiful and smelled amazing. Rewrite the title using the correct formatting. The Lego Movie. It's the entire movie, not just a scene in the movie. So it is a larger work, so we underline it. Circle the pronunciation of the word vacant. Right here is the pronunciation. Tell if the underlined verb is perfect past, perfect present, or perfect future. She has been here before. Has is a helping verb that goes with perfect present. So I'm going to circle perfect and present. Look for shifts in verb tense. Tell if the sentence is correct or incorrect. Emily wrote a story and made a lot of changes. I don't see any change in time here. Um, wrote and made, this is correct, they, they match. Write the meaning of the prefix soul or mono. Ah, this prefix means um, alone or only one. Pause here, we will review Thursday homework. Which words have a root that means speak? Again, I'm looking at Monday's word list. Oh, indictment. Dictation. And dictionary. Which word best completes the sentence? The 
will show us exactly what was said during the meeting. What will show us exactly what was said during the meeting? Dictation. Where does the comma go? As a matter of fact, she said she was coming on Saturday. This is an introductory clause. I'll put my comma here. She said she was coming on Saturday is an independent clause. I'm going to separate the introductory clause from the independent clause with a comma. Which word could replace the underlying word? I want to convert my treehouse into a clubhouse. Change. Which definition of vacant is being used in a sentence? There was only one vacant room left at the Holiday Inn. I'm going to look at the dictionary entry here, not filled, having or showing no intelligence or interest. The room is not um, showing intelligence or interest, but that's because it doesn't have the capability. So I can put definition one, not filled, or I can write not filled. Complete the sentence with the correct perfect future tense verb. Pre, uh, perfect future, I know, has the helping verb will have. And then perform, I'm going to change to past tense. Ran out of room there, performed. Once she is finished, she will have performed in the show a hundred times. Look for shifts in verb tense. Tell if the sentence is correct or incorrect. The football player ran down the field and is scoring a touchdown. There's nothing that tells me that the time changed here. I have ran in past tense, is in present. This is an incorrect shift in verb tense. Those verbs need to match tense. Make a list of words with soul or mono. Ah, you might know from social studies or from the game Monopoly or Solo. Ah, or someone might be monotone. Okay. And this was a review of My Language Homework Q35.